Today on this 2007 GMC Sierra new body, we're going to show you the Kurt Class 5 2 inch receiver hitch, the part number C15323. This is what the hitch looks like when it's installed on our truck. At first glance, you can take a look at it and you see that it sits underneath the bumper. This hitch is a 2 inch receiver and it uses a 5 8 hitch pin hole here. It also has very generous loops for your safety chains. Since this is a heavy duty hitch, it's going to require big hooks for your safety chains. This receiver goes straight into the body, which reaches out to the frame. When it reaches up to the frame, it uses existing fasteners, and it also supplies all fasteners needed to install. No drilling is required with this hitch. The hitch by itself can pull a trailer of 16,000 pounds, and with a tongue weight, which is a force pulling down on the hitch, of 2,400 pounds. Now, when you add a separate weight distribution assembly that goes between a truck and a trailer, your pull weight actually goes up to 17,000 pounds, but your tongue weight still stays the same at 2,400 pounds. Now you also want to double check your owner's manual or the manufacturer to make sure that your truck can pull these kinds of weights. Next we'll go ahead and give you a couple of measurements to help you out in selecting some accessories, such as a ball mount, a bicycle rack, or a cargo carrier. From top of receiver opening down to the ground will be about 18 and a quarter inches. And from the center of a hitch pin hole to the outside edge of the bumper will be about two and a half inches. Also, one other detail is that the hitch actually meets the very edge of a bumper, so it is flush. All right, next we'll go ahead and show you how the hitch is installed. First off, we need to remove two bolts at the very end of the frame. And we'll do that with a 21 millimeter socket. And we'll go over to the driver's side and do the same thing. At this point, we already can go ahead and install hardware into the frame of our truck. We'll go ahead and cover some pieces here. First off, the bolt we just removed actually will be reused with the hitch in the same location. Next location going towards the front of the truck, we use a small block with a half inch carriage bolt and half inch flange nut. This block here will go towards the front of the truck in the large round hole with the same carriage bolt and flange nut. This will be identical on both sides of the truck. Now we'll go ahead and show our location for our hardware and then we'll go ahead and put up our hitch. Our existing weld nut right here will be one of our attachment points. This one will be our next one right here with the small block and a half inch bolt. When we look farther up the frame, we'll look for a large round hole, put it into place. We'll do your driver's side, now we'll do the passenger side. It's a good idea to go ahead and get an X set of hands, help hold up the hitch. We'll put on one flange nut on each side to help stabilize the hitch and keep it in place. Now at this point we can go ahead and install the rest of our hardware. All right, now at the end of the frame, we'll go ahead and reinstall our original bolt. Now you might have a little adjustment left and right. Put it where you want it, and then we'll go ahead and snug down the bolts, and then we'll torque them down as specified in the instructions. With all the bolts tightened down, that'll finish it for a Kurt XD Class 5 2 inch receiver hitch, the part number C15323, on our 2007 GMC Sierra new body.